Okay, the percent of muscle and fat has different resistivity. So when I see resistivity, I'm automatically going to think of resistance. I'm going to be doing question 28, but this will apply to 29, 30. So R equals rho L over A is the first thing I'm thinking of here. Um, they give you um, the resistivity of muscle and the resistivity of fat. So resistivity of muscle and resistivity of fat is given in this case. Um, they give you the length of the arm. The diameter in the arm is shown in the figure. The percent of muscle and fat in the tissue are 60 and 40 percent respectively. So muscle is, oh, that's good, 60 percent. That's more than fat. That's good to say. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Anyways, just thinking out loud. <laughs> the percent, okay. If the voltage um, or change in potential is going to be one volt across length of the arm, what's the ratio of the current flow of muscle versus flat? Uh, so muscle um, versus fat. That's the question that we're wanting to ask here. Um, and they say um, you can assume the fraction of muscle and fat is uniform throughout the length of the arm. Okay. So in this case, um, I've got resistance is rho over A, and I know that potential equals current times resistance. So therefore, um, current will equal voltage over resistance. Uh, let's see. The next thing is Resistance is rho L over A, so substitute that in, and that'll be um, V A over rho L. And of course, we'll make that lowercase in just a second. Okay, so now I've got current in terms of potential, area, resistivity, and length. So now applying that over here, I would have um, V A of the muscle, rho of the muscle, L, V a of fat, rho of fat over L. The reason why I'm using L is because the lengths are going to be the same in this case, because the length of, um, what do you call it, the muscle and the length of the fat is going to be L in general. So the L's are going to cancel. The potentials are going to cancel because we're going to have the same voltage that goes across it. So all we have left here then is we have um, area of the muscle over rho of the, rho, sorry, Resistivity of the muscle, multiply by the reciprocal, you'll get resistivity of the fat over area of the fat. Now, this is where it really is just a math problem, honestly, at this point. Okay. So from here, <clears throat> let's see what we have. It is 60%, 40%. So 60, 40. So I would think the cross-sectional area would be the same in this case. So therefore, I would have, uh, let's see. The area of the muscle would be 60% of the total area. The area of the fat would be 40% of the total area. And those would cancel. Okay, where's my calculator? Whew. Um, on the top, we've got 0. 0.6 times. The resistivity of fat is 30 divided by 0. 0.4 times. The resistivity of muscle is 15. And I get three. Whew. Honestly, that was a more of a math problem, if anything, but that's how you had to figure out this question for 28, which applies to 29 and 30. And honestly, um, you didn't even need to know what the voltage was. So this is actually the answer for 28, 29, and 30, I believe. Yeah, it would be because the, the voltage is the only difference I'm looking at between 28, 29, and 30. So there's no difference between them all. There you go.